Here at home, the Western New York Welcome Center on Grand Island is now officially open to the public. The project has been years in the making. News 4's Angela Cristoforos joins us live from the Welcome Center to show us how it's expected to boost tourism. And Hey, Mel. Well, when you drive down the thruway on Grand Island, you'll notice this building. It's home to the Western New York Welcome Center. And when you go inside, you'll find things like this, booklets, pamphlets, and just different things that have information about things to do in our area. Now, this was a significant state investment. $20 million was put into this brand new Western New York Welcome Center. It's expected to attract more tourists to different locations throughout the region. The center is meant to be like a hub of history and information on tourism destinations. Nations. You'll find a map in there with a list of regional attractions. Now, more than 23 million people drive by this location each year, and state officials hope tourists will take notice and come to the new center. And they're now going to stop. And that's what I've seen in other welcome areas, where they now have a story to tell. The history, the culture, the architecture, the vibrant downtowns, the beautiful parks, and all be able to point to Niagara Falls as well. The Welcome Center is open 24 hours a day. Inside the 12,000 square foot building, you'll find a community room as well as a cafe and seating outside. There's also a play area for kids. Now, you can access the Welcome Center by taking Whitehaven Road, exit 19 to Alvin Road. That is where the Welcome Center is. If you take a look to the left of me, you'll see that there's actually an I Love New York selfie station here, too. We'll have much more on the brand new Western New York Welcome Center later today. But for now, live on Grand Island, Angela Christoforos, News 4 at noon. And that's so cool that